Hello everyone. Just making a small change down here in accordance with the suggestion of our resident redstone expert on the server, Mojo Beast. I mean, the odds of this needing to be there are very, very low. If it reached signal strength 10 from the comparator, if that filled up enough to get to signal strength 10, then it would jam the signal. But I mean, the, the odds of it doing that are incredibly slim, but it doesn't hurt to make it proof against that because then we never have to worry about it. So that's that. I was going to put some water in here so you could drop straight down. Eh, it's too much of a pain. I, I was going to put slabs there and there and then try and put a sign. Well, there and there rather, and try and put a sign in front of the torch to stop the water coming downwards. And you can't put a sign on a torch. And if I did it there, I should do a sign on a sign, which would look stupid. It's, pff, it's not worth the bother. You can just drop and then move back onto the ladder. It's not like it's a huge fall, it doesn't save that much effort. It was worth a try, but meh. So, that's that. Let's put this away, you in there, you in there. Right, so these farms, I think, if I just dismantle the farms as they are, it will probably be all the materials I need for Asuma's design, I think. Um. Because as soon as design just has pistons, repeaters, comparators, nothing that this doesn't already have, really. Oh, and tripwire. So yeah, it should be. I shouldn't need any additional materials. I have stuff left over. Now, when I rebuild these to assume as design, it is gonna make. A difference to the AFK point because the AFK point is positioned such that it's the furthest away it can be while keeping the far corners of the landing areas at the bottom within the 128 radius so that witches don't despawn before hitting the slabs at the bottom. And since the series design doesn't have a rectangle of slabs, uh, I don't need to come this high up, it doesn't have a rectangle of slabs, it has a line of them, which I suppose is still a rectangle, it's just a one meter wide rectangle. Um, the optimum AFK, uh, optimum AFK point will be there. Uh, I'm not going to move it up there. Well, I mean, I, I guess you could AFK up there if you wanted to. Um, but I'm not going to move this entire structure obviously, because that would just be a stupid pain in the arse, especially after I've just built this thing. Um, also, this is still the centre of that circle. That is not. And while it's moved up, it's also moved across, and it would, and it's moved in the, the one direction that's the worst direction for it to move in. You still need to do something about that mountain, actually. It's the top of that is still loaded. Well, not loaded, you know what I mean. In mob range. Um, we need to curve the land upwards rather than it just being a sheer cliff. Um, but yeah, that is the worst direction that could move in, to be honest, because that just means more of that loads. So I'll probably move this up by one block so that it's a step up half a slab rather than a step down half a well, half a block, one slab. Um, but I'm not going to move it over there because, let's be honest, it's not going to make enough of a difference to be worth bothering. We've got the caving that we've done. There's probably still more to be done here, but that won't really be more efficient than this because of the area conditioning. So I'll just probably move it up. And that'll be nice because then you'll be able to see better down there because that'll be up there and it won't block the view as much. So you'll be able to, I don't know, it'll, it'll meh. 
words. So yeah, I'm going to get to work on dismantling the farms, I suppose. First thing I need to do is put some, is fill in the edges of the, well not the edges, fill in the tops of the holes so that stuff doesn't fall down there or it'll just come up here and circle forever and be a pain. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to get on with now. So I'll be back with you when I've done that. Okay. I really need to stop saying okay at the start of almost every cut. Um, progress update. I kept the roof, because there's no point taking the roof down when I'm going to want it for this. I could give this solid walls and take the roof off, but why would I do that? The roof's cool. And I still kind of want to put slip gator symbols on top of there. I've considered doing a slip gator symbol in this circle, but I don't think that'd work that well. I mean, these are getting in the way even if they were reduced to just the farm area. And also it's a circle, and also the middle of the symbol will be under the... Nah! It'd be cool to have a massive slip gator symbol, but I don't think it would work that well. I still want to put slip symbols on top of these, maybe. Um. Anyway, so I've taken the farm down. I haven't done that one yet. That was still the uh, JL design. Um, I need hoppers. I'd forgotten about hoppers. And I also need four more tripwire hooks for this design than for JLs. Um, I also know Asuma made some changes to the redstone in his episode when he built it on the server, on the Hermitcraft server, um, compared to the tutorial, so I have to check that out so I know what I'm doing. But yeah, that's the progress update. One of the farms is taken down and I've started replacing the f with the framework of this design. So I need to go and get some hoppers and some drip wire hooks and check Asuma's videos to see what else I might need. And I'll be back when I've done that. And probably also build some more of this, not just when I've gone and gotten the stuff. And there we go, that should be it. That is a really interesting lighting pattern. I don't know how well that's showing up on YouTube, but that is a really interesting lighting pattern. Um, that should be it done. Everything finished. I've tried it out, it seems to work. Let's see if I can get some witches to spawn. Just back away. Come on, witches. Probably do better if it was at night time. Let's remedy that. Always keep a bed in my end chest. Right. Come on then, spawn. 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 Come on, which is spawn. Please. There's one. And away you go. <laughs> Now, at the moment, the pit is still the same. So that goes all the way down. And it's still the 7x9 down there. Um, so what I will do at some point is close everything off except that strip. And retrieve the hoppers, because hoppers are useful. But for now, I'll just leave it as is because it's not hurting anything being like that. So that is one of the farms done. Changed over to Asuma's design. If you've seen his tutorial but not his episode, this is the change made to the redstone. Um, I'll probably just put a link to the relevant part of his Hermitcraft episode. So yeah, one farm done. All sorted. And I've still got plenty of stuff left over. 
I made all the hoppers I need. Um, I need a couple more pistons as well. Four more pistons. But other than that, finished. Time to do that one. And I probably won't do progress updates on that one, I'll just do the, the whole thing. Because it's exactly the same as this one. Uh, one small oversight with this. The tops of these iron blocks here and the iron blocks I had around here were spider spawnable. I was getting spiders, so I've just replaced these with slabs. That gap's still too small for witches to get through. And I filled those two rows in with us. So that solves the spider problem. So that farm is now finished. Should be, 100%. I, mean, I could just fill all of this in with glass. I don't need to, though. Kind of want to. I don't know, do glass blocks count like air blocks for spawning? I'm not sure. I think they do. Well, whatever. I'll do one or the other. I'll make my mind up. I'll see how much glass I've got left after this and how much I'm willing to waste, I suppose. Um, so yeah, that's that. That farm should now be completely finished. Let's carry on clearing out this chest. And there we go, that is both of them done. I have also done that. Walled it off all the way down to the bottom. Um, that's just got a couple of torches so that nothing spawns in that area. I considered including the entire thing in glass. I still might, maybe. A bit of waste of glass though, really. Do it all around the back. But I've done the gaps at any rate. So that's it. The witch farms are absolutely complete and 1.9 ready. All done. So the only thing left to do, which I should come back down here so that I climb the ladder, which is I'll screw it. <laughs> For the sake of climbing a ladder. This is actually going to be kind of fun in survival. Um, here's hoping it pops upwards. You ass. And I am going to need... Oh, I'll just take the slab that's up there. The clicking is kind of annoying, and you can hear it when you're AFK, which is irritating, but... Meh. The clicking tells you that the farm is being amazing. Okay, slab... There, slab... There and remove that, and that's it. New AFK spot. Cosmac is not having a good day with the falling. So, yeah, that's this done. So, what am I going to do for the rest of the episode? So here we are on a small island. This island is here. Um, I've just surfaced it back out of the water because I'm going to build on it. I was originally going to build this right at the point of the island and then I realised this build is odd width and the island is even. So, yeah. So I'm going to do it over here. And... Uh, I've got all the materials in this chest. I wonder what it could possibly be. I mean, you'll probably notice the colour scheme. The colour scheme's pretty obvious, but... Uh, yeah. So... I think it's time to start building. Oh, yes. But before I do, or after I do, um. I'll do it after, yes. Time to start building. Look at that. Look at that. Sprint stopping. Why does it do that? 
Anyway, yes, building. So there it is. Any of you who have seen slip stuff, you should know what these are. It is a triple amaze balls. Now, on Patreon, uh, 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 well, that's fair enough. I cleared the rain while I was recording. Um, on Patreon, I'm only a BAM level supporter, or was while those support levels existed. So why have I got triple amaze balls? I mean, obviously there's nothing to stop me building it myself, but why triple? Well, here's why. Let's go back to episode... Oh, uh, okay. Let's go all the way back to the first episode on the server. Go check out Slip. He is amaze balls. Oh. Oh, thanks, man. You are. You're a double, triple amaze balls. Really? I thought I was just bam. Nope. Oh, you've been upgraded. So there you have, video evidence, the man himself said, I am triple amazeballs, I am entitled to this. And there it is. I actually did talk to Sip and ask if he could build it for me. Jokingly, not seriously. But, uh, yeah, there we go. I'm officially triple amaze balls. Now the next thing to do is to work out how much I need to torch up the inside of this thing. Eight block, seven block. Let's try a torch there, 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 and there. It took a while to get all the materials for this, not ages, but a while. Uh, the quartz was a pain. I went to my nether tunnel. Well, I came to my portal in my nether tunnel. Um, started breaking out of the tunnel to go into the nether proper. And a pigman got in the way. And that started a couple of hours of aggro pigmen. That were inexplicably more a pain than they should be. So that was fun. Okay, that appears to be enough light everywhere. The outside surfaces are still spawnable. Not much I can do about that without putting torches on the outside and I don't want to do that. Yep, yeah, those four torches seem to do it. So let's just put those in. But uh, anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. If you've enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, share, favourite and comment helps support the channel. Follow me on Twitter to stay updated with what's going on. And subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Postscript. This is why I've been keeping my island unlit. 
I finally got two zombie villagers who are able to hold items so they won't despawn. Um, I've been trying to get some of these for a while and I just happened to cross both of them. So that's that done. Anyway, that is it for this video. See you next time. Because they hate everyone, Jade, that's why. <laughs>